Hey everybody, what's up? It's Dom here back once again with the Steam Deck. We're looking at some of the tips I can give you guys to expand that battery life here. Just on the idling screen here, I've got about 99% sitting in about 5 hours in 36 minutes. It's jumping around all over the place between, it was like, and now see it's going up to 6 hours, 8 minutes. It's just on the idle there, but let's say for instance, uh, let's go into a game. Grand Theft Auto 5 here. We're going into it and let's uh, play GTA 5 here. And I'll show you some of the tricks you guys can use to expand battery life because um, you're going to fall mostly into two categories when it comes with this thing. You're either going to have this thing look the most beautiful, pretty game you're going to play on uh, mobile or you want to be able to play for long extended periods of time. And I fall more into wanting to play the game more extended periods of time. I don't care if the game doesn't look as great as it does on my PC because I'm taking this to places where you know I want to play this on the go and see how long I can last playing it. Okay, so I've fiddled with it a little bit right now, and uh, I've knocked up a lot of the settings here. Also, I recommend using a per-game profile when it comes to the Steam Deck. It'll uh, really be handy because each game will be a little bit different in how you want to tweak it. A frame rate unlimited, refresh rate 60. Uh, I do have max brightness here. Now, the settings in the game I haven't really messed with uh, at all, but you could even go crazier here. You know, for instance, I have um, the refresh rate to 60 hertz. Uh, I have a lot of the settings off, you know, V-Sync at half. You could up the game to make it look much more beautiful. I have a couple very high settings here, but I essentially just ran the benchmark test, did it at the default here that it's going to give you when you first load off here. But you'll sit around on GTA 5 at about 4 hours, maybe 3 hours, 30 minutes, jumping around there. It's honestly not too bad when it comes to the battery life with the settings here. But like I said, let's squeeze some more life out of it. First off, we can knock that refresh rate all the way down to 40 here. Then we can knock the frame rate limit here to 40. Now you see on the top left, it is going to change it to 40 FPS there. Which like I said, is more of a preference base for each person. For me, I don't think it's that big of a deal. And let's knock down the brightness here. The brightness is a big one from what I've been noticing on the Steam Deck. So right around here, it's still playable. You know, where I'm playing right now, very uncomfortable, not that good looking. But if I'm like laying down, if I'm taking this thing on the go, it's much more easier to uh, maneuver. And now we've knocked the battery life up to about four hours, 41 minutes. It is jumping around here. It's now saying five hours. But essentially, if you can get an extra two hours just by knocking down the frame rate limit, the refresh rate, uh, dimming the brightness, that makes a big difference there. Now you notice I'm actually still on Wi-Fi. If I knock off the Wi-Fi here, it'll actually make it a little bit better also too. Give it a second, it's gonna detect it. So I haven't seen a big difference between having Wi-Fi on or off or using airplane mode on or off, honestly. Like if I turn it on here, you know, it's not gonna jump drastically to, uh, six hours you know it's still jumping around there saying uh, maybe we'll get five and a half hours maybe we'll get five hours you know very much jumping around there now you can mess around like i said more with uh tdp limiting on there even some scale filtering um most i think it's usually set to linear and all these i don't think i've messed with the linear or the scaling uh filter on any of the games i think they're all set to linear but there's some things you can check to see if these are changed here uh, some games you won't need as much of that battery juice for the thermal power uh, The TDP limit you could set really low for some games, but I would take it on a game-by-game -game basis to really see what uh, Would be the sweet spot there, but this is just a quick overview of like the settings I'd recommend like the three main ones to really kind of tweak I mean your frame rate limit your refresh rate and your brightness definitely and as a bonus you could put on airplane mode it doesn't hurt there you know because most of the time like i said you will be taking this game on the go but let's actually uh, just walk around in gta you can see here i am still going around acting like a menace and it's still really smooth even at 40 fps here in my opinion but if you wanted to knock it up to 60 fps that's the best part of the scene deck it's all about what you guys want to do and your preference there. If you think you want to have this on 60 FPS, if you want to have it on 120 FPS, whatever you want to have it on, you can do it and define it there on that one. But I find this more than playable 
here at 40 FPS. The game still looks great, but you could even go in, and I would highly recommend this on a game by game basis. Go in within your settings, go in within your uh, display or video settings in the game, and just kind of seeing what they have there. Um, for graphics, you know, in display for some games it usually has like the resolution and all that, but in GTA it's got it actually near the graphics for the screen resolution, aspect ratios, stuff of that nature. So keep that in mind. There, you could even lower the resolution to get some more life out of GTA 5 here in particular. Um, game itself still running very cool, I'll say that. On the Steam Deck, I think I've only had one game where I was like, this is noticeably. Uh, hotter than the rest. I think it was like WWE 2K, but there we are. Still sitting about five, almost six hours right there is saying now on the Steam Deck. Tell me your guys' thoughts down below on what you guys uh, think on the Steam Deck's battery life. I think for this type of device and its competitors, the battery is the biggest plus for this device here. You will, and all the customization and the settings with it, um, make it a heck of a plus, you know, taking this thing on the go. But like I said, what do you guys think down below? Sound off, and uh, we'll see you all next time. Peace out.